My name is James Stebbing, I'm one of the oncology sisters at the Guildford Nuffield Hospital. The first step is to assess the veins when the patient comes in. We have a nice comfortable chair, usually the patient knows which arm seems to be better than another one, but if we can't find anything that's easily accessible, we'll put a warming pad on for five to ten minutes just to make sure that the arm's nice and warm, it encourages the veins to come up a bit quicker. We then put the tourniquet on, we've identified the vein so we give it a good clean, um, 30 seconds with some chloroprep, allow that to dry. Whilst we're doing that we prepare the kit and the needle. We use a vacuum system so the needle is attached to a small tube with vacuum receiver on the end. That needle is then just popped into the vein. So it's just a little scratch when the needle goes in. Most people don't really notice. The line is already attached with the receiver for the vacuum bottle. The bottles then go on the end of the vacuum receiver and each bottle is, has a specific vacuum for the amount of blood it needs. Uh, the bottles are colour coded for the different tests that are needed and those bottles will be filled according to the request that the physician or the consultant has made. At the end of that um, we release the tourniquet, pull the needle out gently and just pop a piece of gauze or cotton wool over the top and the patient usually holds that themselves for about a minute just to clot off the vein so that it's more comfortable for them and then we just pop a plaster on over the top. If there are fears or anxieties associated with having any blood tests, um, you don't need to be embarrassed or worried about it. Um, there are lots of ways we can make you feel more comfortable. We can lie the chair down so that you can't see what we're doing and then if you feel faint you're already lying down. And obviously we talk to you all the way through to find out if you're having any problems. Most people find that it's not as bad as they thought it was going to be in the end, but if you do then we've got lots of ways to help you deal with it.